Ukraine takes control of entire Kharkiv regions and town seize at onset of Russian invasion. Ukraine consolidates its control of the Kharkiv regions on Tuesday, raising flag on towns and villages occupied by Russian troops for six months and reclaiming area seized by Moscow on the first day of Vladimir Putin's invasion. The state border service in Kyiv said it has liberated the city of Vokhansk, a couple of kilometers from the international border. Russian soldiers left on Sunday, it added, after the stunning Ukrainian counteroffensive. In the space of a few days, Ukraine has pushed the Russian out of more than 6,000 square kilometers of territory, including zones in the south of the country, where a separate counteroffensive is ongoing to recapture the city of Kyrgyzstan. Russian units have fled in Desari. Serhii Hadai, the governor of the Luksan regions, said local partisans have raised the Ukrainian flag over the key town of Kremina, which was completely empty. Its Russian occupiers had either left the area or were too scared to take it down, he suggested. Russian battalions have fallen back to new position east of the Oxil River, about 10 miles from the freshly liberated city of Izium. The city was almost entirely destroyed and more than 1,000 residents killed during five months of occupation and in recent fighting, Kiev said. It showed Pulsivers, high-rise apartment blocks, trash school, blown down bridges and burnt out Russian military vehicles marked with the letter Z. The Kremlin used Izumium as a garrison and armed depot in its operation to seize the Donbass. A Western official said it was too early to save Ukraine's success in regaining 6,000 square kilometers of territory in the Kharkiv regions, represented a turning point in six months plus long war in a briefing playing down the significance of Kiev recapture of Izium and Kupansk. Nevertheless, the official acknowledged it was a moment that has power, and they confirmed that the element of territory gained by Ukraine in the past week amounted to half the size of Wales. The official was speaking on condition of anonymity. Western official praised Ukraine's innovative and experimental military strategy compared with Russia's, whose commander were at times referring decisions to the Kremlin, slowing down the battlefield respond. Moscow is operating with a long screwdriver, the official added. The U.S. said that it had helped Ukraine in war ramming potential counteroffensive strategies in the week running up to the attack in Kharkiv province. Ukrainian commanders started opening up more to American and British intelligence officials and seeking advice. There were claims on Tuesday that Russian intelligence officers and military commanders had begun to evacuate from Crimea and to urgently resettle their families in the wake of recent battlefield defeat. Kyiv main intelligence directorate said employees working for the FSB, the spy agency Vladimir Putin used to run, have been quietly moving their relative back to the territory of Russian Federation. They have also been selling their flats, the directorate claim. Until recently, the possibility Ukraine might take back Crimea had appeared remote, but a series of mysterious and devastating Ukrainian strike over the summer on Russian aerodromes and weapon drums, as well as a collapse of Russian forces in the Kharkiv regions, had resulted in thousands of residents fleeing. The claim is difficult to verify, but Crimea, Moscow appointed leader Sergei Askonov appeared to be increasingly rattled. In a video addressed on Monday, he threatened locals with prosecutions if they listen to Ukrainian music or chant Ukrainian slogan. From Monday, anyone wanting to leave the peninsula via the Crimea Bridge will have to seek permission from an army conscription office. It has been reported. There is also a ban on houses sales, local pro-Kremlin TV stations, meanwhile, have sought to play down Russian losses. According to the Institute for the Study of War, the Russian army has retreated from the right-hand bank of the Dnieper River, practically abandoned a position outside the southern city of Kyrgyzstan.
Demoralized troops from the so-called Donetsk People Republic have also pulled out of village of Kansilvaka, leaving behind just four vehicles, it said. Kyselivka is strategically important to Russian forces and 15 kilometer northwest of Kyrgyzstan. The Russian soldiers defending the city are effectively marooned after Ukraine destroyed all four bridges across the wide Dnieper River. The northwestern outskirts of Kyrgyzstan were now vulnerable to a Ukrainian counterattack, the ISW wrote. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.